the Republicans are snakes. Uh, seeing right here uh, in front of you is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. It is the largest and most venomous reptile that there is in the United States. It's uh, prevalent to uh, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. In the South, there weren't many Republicans. If they were there, they were hidden and they were isolated. Now, of course, everywhere you look, like fleas on a hound dog or something, everywhere and they're jumping up. One of the most frequently asked questions is, have I ever been bit? But when they jump up off of the dog, it's what they jump up with. It's always one of taking a moral position and a high moral position based on Christian ethics that really, when you look at it, don't exactly match the Christianity that many of us grew up with. If you do get bit, uh, the best thing to do is, is to, to stay clear. There's no way Republicans can win an election for dog catcher if some Democrats are not supporting them. Republicans have a hard time with a swamp because it's just not as comfortable as they're used to. They're used to a country club, and a country club's antithetical to a swamp. But the Democratic Party is so diverse and so spread out with so many different issues that Republicans are allowed to use these these issues to balkanize them. Because, of course, in a country club, you know, what you got is a golf course, and a golf course is the anti-swamp because it's all this filled dirt and all this fancy grass and all these chemicals and stuff. And in the swamp, well, it just does what it does. Republicans are bad because they take all the money. Now, they like to pretend that they're country. Uh, and they like to pretend that they're backwoods and all that kind of stuff. So they buy a lot of work shirts. You'll notice that they love the work shirts. And they all have the crease down the side because they just came out of the package from L.L. Bean. Then Republicans take the money and spend it on things that, don't, that they don't really need. It's sticking there, see? I couldn't get him to do that on carry. This guy's got to go. This guy has to go. If y'all have ever seen Jeb Bush, campaigning in West Florida or trying to campaign in Wakulla or Franklin counties. You know, the guy puts on this outfit that he thinks that country people or working people might wear. But man, if you dumped him in the middle of, um, I don't know, Morrison's hammock or something, he'd be dead in five minutes because the snakes would just be going, cool, you know, khakis, we love them. He'd never been in Florida in his life until he came here and moved and ran for governor, bought his way in. And I think from the beginning, planned the election, they knew it would be a, a state a state they needed, and the rest is history. I won't even go into that. But if you would get bit, you have a 33% chance that that bite is what we call a dry bite. He realizes that you're too big for him to eat. He doesn't want to waste his venom because his venom is part of his digestive system. <laughs> Democrats iron their own underwear.